Welcome Dragon Champions to another edition of Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions. Thank you so much for being here. I really have uh, just been uh, really, really blessed and happy to see that people are coming to the channel and doing everything. So shout out to all of the new subscribers uh, that are coming up. I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you so much. If you are new around here and this is the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And let's get on into today's topic changes are coming yes the stark words changed a little bit around yes i'm a huge game of thrones fan uh maybe you didn't know that about me game of thrones the books i'm actually currently reading uh the books they are really really great uh, if you've ever read them great 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 but changes are coming to dragon champions uh that is what is coming on today uh this video is uh, brought to you uh by me to you from the developers about the things that are happening they said today on the discord channel if you are not hooked up to their discord definitely get hooked up with the discord all you got to do is just go up go into the wheel here hit the little discord button here and go to the reddit page and the facebook page sign up it's completely free it's awesome it's a great resource there's a lot of great people in the community it is awesome 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 so go make sure you do that so let's get on into what is changing so right here i've got the discord channel pulled up and this is the the information here um as you can see uh so it's really really great uh, so we're just going to read off the read off the list here so new it says hello champions this week we're releasing a new update for dragon champions i believe this is going to be done on thursday maybe friday could take effect as early as tomorrow but i don't think it's going to be that soon it says change of power calculations uh to make the tower easier so they're changing the power calculation formula for stars to make the tower easier uh, new hero coming diesel rog uh, very awesome. It's going to be coming in a special event, common market in the guild shop here in the next update. So you have a lot of different ways to farm him. We'll talk about him in a second. New tournaments. Rarely there'll be two tournaments at a time. So I think what that means is that we are going to have two tournaments at a time at, at, at certain points. Um, we're going to do the treasure hunt here, here in a minute. Um, There'll be some new offers for ability scrolls. Oh, thank you, Lord. Please let there be some new offers for ability scrolls. Uh, <laughs> Dragon needs some him, himself some ability scrolls. Uh, definitely need those. As you can see, my current team is doing okay, but my poor, poor, poor orkies, they need help. Um, so when Solius comes back around, I'm definitely going to need uh, some orcs. Uh, some orc love. Uh, let's see if we can just get the last one or two here that we need for car. There we go. We got it. All right. Some other things here. Changes to the tournament offers. We're oh, they're going to add now golden keys instead of energy. So today we're looking at here. These are the likes three offers for the current tournament that is going on. Uh, you give six hundred energy there and start giving gold keys. It doesn't say how much, but that's what we're going to get. That'd be awesome. I mean, I love the energy. Don't get me wrong. I, I get a lot of these. They're going to get me boosted up. Um, I'm going to hit sixty eight tonight. However, it's. I, I'm so low on money that I can't level up the rest of my characters either. So ah, I'm really hurting on that. Um, uh, let's see what is next. It says uh, favorite mark for locked heroes uh, for more comfortable farm. Oh, it would be nice. I, I think they already pretty well have this. Uh, you can favorite them. I have these these favorited here. So that makes it pretty easy. Uh, last open chat channel will be saved when you enter the game. Once again, that's real nice. Uh, you know, uh, fix problems when some players can't buy purchases after failing transactions, they're going to fix that memory optimization and fix problems with games sometimes crashing. That's also very good. Um, memory, uh, fix bugs where the game freezes when raid bosses summon their guards. I have not seen this, but it's a, probably an issue and then fix a lot of bugs fixes. So, Let's talk about the new hero, uh, Diesel Rog. Obviously, I don't have any sort of footage or anything like that at the moment. It's not been dropped into the game, but he is an orc. Uh, he is an orc that will be coming out. Uh, like, like they said, he's going to be in the special event for him, as well as in the common market, as well as the guild shop. So you're going to be able to get him with guild shop currency, uh, which is good because I just finished up as you saw on screen finished up my uh kara uh run so now i give me somebody else to farm out of that store uh first ability is cyber punch from what i can tell here he's going to be uh a 
a damage dealer, a physical damage dealer, which means that he's going to have some good abilities against Soleus uh, in the raid. But we'll get into that here in a minute. He deals 240% of physical damage to an enemy. If this blow is a critical, he removes two buffs from the enemy uh, for each living goblin in the team. So if you don't have any goblins, though, it looks like you're not gonna you're you're not gonna get any buffs. Uh, so he's got some goblin synergy here. Uh, that one's called Cyber Punch. That's his uh, basic, and then his second ability is BFG. I'm not. I I think we can all know what BFG stands for, uh, but I'm not gonna bother saying it right now. But I think we can get, get the idea. It deals 210 percent of physical damage to all enemies, inflicting 70 percent chance to inflict uh, an armor decrease for two turns. That's awesome. Um, and then his third ability is Add Fuel. Uh, it looks like this, and it does look like it's going to be, his second ability is going to be a, uh, a second turn ability, and his uh, third ability is going to be a third turn ability with a cooldown of 204. This one gains accuracy increase and damage increase for two turns, recovers 15% turn meter for each living orc in the team. If there are a, a, if there are allies like Old Lore, so if Old Lore is on the battlefield, he gets the same amount of turn meter and damage increase for two turns. So he gives himself some, he has some Old Lore synergy as well as some Goblin some, uh, synergy. And then if there are enemy, if there if Darian is on the uh, on the battlefield, then uh, Diesel Rog gains. Uh, cheat death and debuff immunity for two turns this is why i think he's going to be usable and good for phase one or the soliest uh part of the raid it's because darian's on the battlefield on that one so he's going to get cheat death and debuff immunity which would be really super awesome because it means that uh, that ability block that uh that soleus brings will be will not be able to be applied and then he has a passive ability which he gains 10 percent of physical damage increase for each living orc on the team and 10 percent critical chance for each goblin on the team uh, below you can also so the next part of this is going to be general general changes that are coming like i said changes are coming counter attack and assistance now deal 50 percent of the normal damage uh, ability damage it was 75 and so there's an overall damage decrease on counterattacking. Uh, so that's going to make, uh, you know, Nightiel and uh, Soleus a little less powerful on that. Dodge increase now gives 20% dodge. It was 30. Darien, so that affects Darien, Kenley, Hera, Foul, um, and, and Buff. Accuracy decrease now gives 20% down from 30. Uh, so Snorri... Cruel, uh, cruel, old lore, Kagi, and buff. All right. So there are some other abilities that were fixed. Soleus, his uh, his leadership ability. There was a bug uh, that was fixed where he was only the one receiving the counter attack bonus. So they fixed that. On cruel, there was a reflection. Her third ability, create reflection. There was a bug where the game crashes sometimes when it calls, and then when you were auto battling, it wasn't using the ability. On on Darian. His first blow is actually getting a buff. So his basic is now going to deal 100% of physical damage to an enemy and deals 260% uh, physical damage if the orc, if the target is an orc. Now let's move on to elves. Nighty L is her, her passive ability, Knight Priestess, uh, is going to fix a buff where it's not, it was dispelling buffs from allies. That's interesting. I didn't see that, but that is going on. Uh, Kelrion is his uh, glaive throw or, or glav throw, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, he it's deals 190 percent of physical damage to all enemies now, and, and inflicts armor decrease for two turns. It used to be a 75 percent chance. Now it has a hundred percent chance to do that, uh, depending on its potency and that sort of thing. Uh, changes are coming. Once again, let's look at my gal, Wonder Lula. Now, we know she's been broken. Uh, in my previous videos, I've talked about top 10 videos and that sort of stuff. Let's talk about my gal here. I've invested a good bit into her. Um, obviously, she was too good to be true. I think that nerf is probably appropriate. She's able to one-shot things that are basic. I think it's appropriate. Um, but here's what's happening. 
to Wonderler. Health gain from levels and star increase by 10%. So she's going to gain more health. So she's going to have more health. Um, base speed is going to be reduced by 5. So right now I have a 202 speed. It's going to go down by 5. So I'll have 197. Um, her first shot was what was bugged. They're going to fix it. Uh, when It fixed above when this ability is correcting damage. It was doing 2.5 times more damage than it was supposed to be doing, which makes sense. Uh, it's now, though, it is also getting a nerf. It deals 180% on the basic instead of 220 uh, so we can look at that right now. It deals 220, right? And to physical damage, if the target has more health uh, left than Lula, this attack will deal 225% damage instead of 300. So it's it's an it's an overall decrease across the board uh, on the basic. This attack deals 50% more critical damage. Now this ability is being nerfed down. The next one, per, uh, piercing shot. They are lowering the cooldown on this ability as well. Um, piercing shot. So this is here right now. It's three of four. It's now going to be two of four. So it's going to be end up being like a three turn. Um, you're going to be able to use this on your third turn with a Wonder Lula. It, it used to deal 300%. It deals now 300% down from 390 physical damage to an enemy, and half of the damage to this attack penetrates the shield. Uh, it, it used to say the entire thing. So now you're only going to do half of the damage penetrating the shield and the other half is not. It is guaranteed a critical hit if invisible. So that's still good, but it's going to do half as much. Uh, Demonic Scourge has been changed. Now, I think this is why she's still going to be a very good character. Now, as you can see, I haven't fully leveled up Demonic Scourge yet. Um, in fact, we're just going to go ahead and find. We're going to go in here and let's see. I think um, I've been farming... An IDL a little. We're just going to hit the button here. Do a couple. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and actually buff this. So the way this works right now is it says deal. I wonder Lula deals 25% more damage for each living de demon in the enemy's party. No longer is that going to be the case. She's going to deal 20% more physical damage across the board. Right? period, and 7% more for each living demon in the enemy's party. It used to be 25. Now, she gains 20 total, plus 7% for each demon. And so, if you were to have a demon party, like all five characters be a demon, that would be 35, right, percent, 35%, 25%, so 57%, uh, 55%, 35% and 20%, uh, 55% more overall damage. She's still going to do a ton, a ton of damage. Um, as you can see, I'm already six across the board. Now I've got to get this other one up because this is where she's going to be. I assume that this damage here is going to be less um, than the 20. It's probably going to be something like, you know, I don't know exactly how they're going to break that down, but we'll see when the when it comes out. Uh, but that's so that she and they actually say that they said additional comments about Lula. This character will be one of the most powerful damage dealers in the game. She is a quote unquote glass cannon. These are words directly from the developers, uh, especially against demons. Before this update, she could kill enemies with one blow. We wanted to avoid this because it breaks the balance between characters. And it's absolutely true. Um, I, as you guys have seen in my videos, I one shot, I one shot a lot of enemies and that's, that sucks. Shouldn't be, I shouldn't be able to one shot people. I know every people can, I know that's part of the game right now, but it's coming out and that's okay. It's perfectly the way it should be. Uh, next one, let's go over to Patriarch Chi. So there's some more under pandas. Let's talk about the pandas real quick. Patriarch Chi, his leadership ability is going to get nerfed a little. Um, it says all allied spells applied shields equal to 45%. Uh, all attacks by allies from the order restore 20% of their maximum shields. So it, it was 50 and now it's 45 and the shields being applied. So it's a little bit of a nerf, but not too bad. Ember uh, is his second ability or her second ability. I'm not sure, uh, but is nerfed down from deals 400% from 450 magic damage to an enemy, stuns for one turn. So it just lowered it a little. 
Uh, and I will I will link this entire thing. Um, I will copy it and put it in the description so you guys have it. Um, so if you want a quick place to be able to find this information, you certainly can do that. Um, Orcs, Rantha, her clan leadership was bugged. It, it's They fixed the bug where specific bonuses were received by all clan allies rather than specific representatives of the race. Uh, so that's good. Battle Poo is actually getting a buff. He's going to get gain 50% more physical damage to an enemy, so he'll do a little bit more damage. Uh, let's go on to Goblins. Uh, Adam, Little Boom's first ability, he, so his basic's going to be increased from 60 to 80% to all uh, physical damage to all people. 40% was cha uh, 40 chance to inflict damage decrease for two turns. That's uh, increased by 10%, was 30, and now it's 40. Let's go into Pride. Bori, who is a character we don't have yet uh, uh, available to us, his basic was dealing 250%, now it's going to deal 200% physical damage to each enemy. If the target has at least uh, the least health, it deals 250% now. Um, uh, so it, if, if it has less health, so it's kind of the opposite of Wonder Lula, uh, it uh, deals 250% damage instead of 300% damage of physical damage. And so that's not too bad. Wounding Arrow, the second ability on him, the cooldown has been changed. It's been increased from three to uh, from two, three to three, four. So it's going to take some extra, extra time to get going on that. Deals 300%. Uh, was 420% physical damage to an enemy, applies two stacks of bleeds. So that's um, how that's happening. Now, my understanding is, and I don't have confirmation of this yet, I am looking for it, but it looks as if they are going to have a new legendary event that's going to take, um, it's going to take elves. I, like I said, I, I've seen other another uh, YouTuber's video uh, on this, uh, but I, I have not been able to independently verify it, so I'm not going to put it up yet. But it does look like it's going to take elves because of this announcement. It says, one more change. Nighty L farm point will be moved from Demons 4-6 to Order 7-9. It'll make it easier to farm her. Um, and so that's what we're looking at there. And then it says, FYI, one more thing, last thing. Before the next legendary event, there'll be two tournaments, one with Nightiel and one with Lula and the Rewards. So there you go. We're going to get some more um, tournaments uh, with Lula being the Rewards and with Nightiel being the Rewards. That is awesome. Looking forward to that. So that is what is coming to Dragon Champions. Changes are coming. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like on it. Subscribe if you are new around here. Leave me a comment if I missed anything or left anything out, and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.